being a female K-pop idol was never too easy. Netizens making fun of your face, body, talent, shaming you for no reason or double standards. However, besides that, female idols are not safe. There has been multiple spy cam scandals in K-pop. The rate of arrests of hidden camera crimes has increased since 2011. Hidden camera crimes have become a prominent point of feminist protest and Me Too movement in South Korea. Public restrooms are one of the most commonly mentioned locations for spy cam installation. Many women have said that they do not feel safe using public restrooms because they feel there is such a high possibility of there being a hidden camera converting up holes and cracks in walls, toilet paper holders and hair dryers where camera might be hidden. In Korea, it's called Mocha. Mocha are miniature cameras secretly and illegally installed in order to capture images and videos. However, the crime of Mocha refers to image taken with any kind of camera or a phone. Images and videos are sold online across various platforms, including popular social media sites like Twitter and Tumblr, without knowledge or consent of those on camera. Momoland's Nancy was illegally filmed and photographed. The video and photos were spreading through various online communities. This began when a local staff of the 2019 Asia Artist Awards held in Vietnam secretly filmed Nancy, who was the MC back then. Nancy's agency, MLD Entertainment, made an official statement on the 11th stating they will take strong legal actions against the individual who took the illegal photos and videos related to Nancy. Above all, MLD Entertainment was worried that Nancy has fallen into great shock due to this incident. The agency pleaded, Nancy should be the first person to be protected. We ask that everyone stops making measures postings or spreading her photos and stop hurting the artist's father, they continued to say. Nancy is crying after finding out about the situation. We will quickly correct the issue and will take strict legal actions. The thing that bothers me the most about this situation is that the pictures are not completely gone. You can still find them on multiple sites for adults. Sadly, this is not the only incident with spy cams in K-pop. Do you guys remember the end room case? According to the authorities, private information of four famous gear group members was leaked in the chat room, as well as an actor and announces personal information. One of the most famous spy cams scandal was in 2018. Go-Ara incident revealed that her ex, boyfriend, Jung Boom, threatened to leak adult tapes on social media with Go-Ara in it. He later had a stating the tapes he filmed would end her career as a celebrity. The scandal prompted further investigations regarding revenge and more protection towards the go Ara due to severity of the incident alongside netizens reacting negatively over it. This case was acquitted as the case has been headed to the Supreme Court after Choi jung Boom was arrested. Choi jung Boon was sentenced to only one year in prison on October 15. This is honestly disgusting and very shocking because Hara lost her life because of the situation and this piece of sh is going to be in jail only for one year. There is a very high chance that even today there are still spy camps in resting rooms, bathrooms and other places where female idols are spending their time and they don't even know about it. In 2017, G-Friend had a fun side event in Seoul. While the girls were in very good moods, the atmosphere suddenly cooled down when some of the members have noticed that a fan was wearing glasses with a small hidden camera on it. It appears that Yuju noticed the camera first, but she didn't comment on it besides possibly leaning over to someone to inform her of her suspicions. 
She also appears to have told Sin B. Yerin was the next person to notice, and she asked the fan to take his glasses off. After examining the glasses, she notices a small camera on the glasses. After the fan left, Yerin looked uneasy as she told the manager that the fan was using a hidden camera. Fans pointed out that taking videos or photos was not prohibited at this particular event, so there was no reason whatsoever for the fan using such devices without the member's consent. Jifren's agency responded by saying, the fan in question was called on scene and was asked to leave with a warning. We confiscated the glasses with the hidden camera. From now on, the particular fan will not be allowed to attend any more fan science events. In 2019, sales of spy cam detectors also skyrocketed following a series of digital involving hidden cameras. South Korean e-commerce website G Market saw a 333% increase in sales of those devices in March compared to the previous year. As a more convenient way of detecting hidden cameras, some companies started selling portable detection cards with a layer of red cellophane paper that can be used with a smartphone. Users simply need to attach the card to the smartphone camera lens, turn on the flash, and take picture of the suspicious looking spot. The resulting photo will have a bright flashing dot indicating the location of the spy cam lens. What's the worst here is that the people installing the cams sometimes are not even the staff members, but the male idols themselves. The best example here is the Bernie Soon scandal. JJY chat rooms revealed a high-profile case of mocha circulation, where celebrities such as Jung Jung Young and Choi Jung Hoon and others were found to have filmed or shared videos in a private chat room, many of which were filmed in the model rooms and involved with rings around 2015-2016. However, also Sesangs are involved in this. We all know Sesangs go after idols everywhere, literally everywhere. There has been multiple situations where idols have been filmed and photographed during their private time. Some idols are Blackpink's Jenny or Girls' Generation Stayon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me guys know what do you think about the issue and if you think something is going to change or not. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel for more. Also, if you don't mind, you can check my Instagram account. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Bye!